Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Rocket League tutorial. Since you guys seem to enjoy my other aerial tutorials, I figured that I should make this ultimate aerial tutorial that covers everything you need to know. Uh, it covers when, where, and how to make adjustments as well as how to apply them. Now, I'm not being biased, but I'd even say this is the best tutorial out there. And it hurts me to say this, but only 4% of you who are watching are actually subbed. Thank you guys. If you aren't, then hit that sub button for more great content. I'm on the road to hit a thousand subs one day, and it would be great if you could help me out. Anyways, let's jump right into it, and let's learn how to air roll. Um, before we start, I'd just like to say that this mechanic takes a long time to learn. So you gotta be ready to practice and put in the hours. Now I am a KBM player, so this video will mainly help KBM players, but don't worry controller players, this will definitely help you a lot. And for the sake of the video, your controller inputs are the same as W, A, S, and D as shown here, and the diagonals are W and D, S, D, S, A, and W and A, and yeah, you get the rest. Okay, let's break this down into parts. So the first step is, can you do a normal aerial shot without air roll, just a uh, normal shot? There we go, second try. Um, okay, so if you can do that, then we can move on to the next step. And then we just hop into free play real quick. Okay, so now we want to learn how to aerial sideways and backwards. And if you don't know how to do that, then a great way to practice is to hop into free play and we're gonna fly from goalpost to goalpost. So let's get into it. As you can see, when our car is pointed to the left, forward is left, back is right, left is back, and right is forward. Uh, when our car is backwards, right is left, left is right, forward is back, and back is forward. And when our car is pointed to the right, forward is right, back is left, Right is back and forward is, wait, and left is forward. So that's a bit confusing, but you must be able to understand it in order to learn air roll later on. So just practice flying around for a bit until you get the hang. And yeah. Okay, once you're decent at that, then we can begin with the keybinds. Sorry controller plays, but this ain't the guy for controller keybinds, but there are plenty of good videos out there. But for KBM players, there are two things that you can do. The first is to bind your air roll button to something other than the default Q and E. So you can do that by binding it to your thumb button or these buttons shown on screen here if you don't have a mouse with a thumb button. The pros of this are that it's easier to press W, A, S, and D. Whereas if you have Q and E as your air roll binds, it's a bit hard to press A uh, for air roll left because you've got a fat finger, your ring finger, and press down on Q and E at the same time. But the downsides of having your arrow bind to something like a mouse button are that it's harder to flip stall and half flip and all those cool fancy mechanics. But if your goal is to grind ranked and not freestyle, then you can bind your arrow button to a mouse button or something like that. But for this video, I'm gonna explain everything with Q because I use arrow left and also because most people will be able to relate to that easier. Okay, congrats, you've made it so far. But now, this is where the real learning begins. So, what we're gonna do is hop into free play and you have your arrow binds, left or right, whichever one you use. And we're gonna jump and hold arrow plus one, one of W, A, S, O, D and we're gonna see what it does to our car. So this you might need to take some time with doing by practicing in your own time, but I'll go through it with you now so you know what to expect. So I'm gonna jump and press Q and D and we see that our nose goes up right there. So what that means is if we have vertical in the air, I press Q and D, we're gonna go backwards. Boom. And same thing with Q and S. Oh, look at that. Our nose points to the left now. So if we boost, we're gonna go left. So let's try that. 
hop into the air, Q and S, boom, going off to the left. And same thing, Q and W, oh, and we saw that the nose goes to the right. So jump, Q and W, look, going right. And finally Q and A, this, is, this one's the hardest because you have to press Q and A with the same finger, so yeah. So let's go Q and A, our nose points down, right? But that's because we're flat right now. If we're here and our nose points down, guess what? We're going forward. So, like up here, Q and A, and boom, now we go forward. And you're gonna do this with everything. If you're arrow right, you do the same thing, E and A and all those. But also make sure to do combinations. That is the diagonals, like these. So let's go jump, Q, W, and D. You can see that our nose goes to the right and also up. So that means in the air, we're gonna go to the right and back, right? Just think about it for a moment. And then Q, S, and D, our nose went up and then to the left. So that means in the air, we're gonna go back and to the left. Oh, look, back and to the left. Back and to the left. So, these are the adjustments. And try the same thing with Q, A, and W. Uh, I'm using my ring finger to press Q and A, and then middle finger to press W. So, like this, boom. Our nose goes down and then to the right. That means in the air, we're gonna go forward and to the right. Ooh. And same thing with Q, A, and S. To the left and then down. So that means in the air, we're gonna go left and then forward. Got it? Easy. So these are all the controls, pretty much all the inputs that you need to know. Okay, so now we want to know how to apply what we just learned. And so the best way to practice is to go in slow motion. Um, I have Barker's mode because I'm on PC, so I can make the game into slow motion, but if you don't, go in custom games, private match, create, and then new hitter settings, go game speed, slow-mo, and max time limit unlimited, and that's good enough. And then you join the game, but for now, I'm going to do it in free play. One more thing I forgot to mention was, how do you control like how fast you go in the air? Well, that's also with the adjustments, because Right now, if I wanted to tilt back, I'd have to press forward. If I wanted to tilt forward, I would have to like press back right now. So yeah. So let's go slow mo. Um. Yeah. Close enough. So I'm trying to explain what I'm doing. Actually, I'll make it slower so I have more time to explain. We're gonna fly from here. Go left and then fly right to the other goalpost. So up, start air rolling. Remember Q and D tilts our nose up. So when we first start into the air, you want to look, if you press Q and D, it's an easy takeoff. So yeah, just try and apply that. So whenever you take off, double jump and Q and D, boom vertically up and then you do the rest of the adjustments so here we go we fly up double jump make sure the fast aerial Q and D so now we're up all right so if you want to go to the right right now what do we do so we learnt in the first part of the video that when our car is pointing to the left and we press back which is S then we'll go to the right but we can't just go to the right we have to go through the right and forward so which adjustment was that let's think Oh wait, I forgot. Uh, oh yeah, it was Q, A, and W. So let's try it. Q, oh. Wrong adjustment. <laughs> Alright, so here again. So to the right, right now, we can go D to go to the right, and also W to tilt our nose forward. So let's try it. Boom. Alright, now we're here. Press S to pull back a bit, because if not, we're gonna just keep flying to the right forever. And then, now we're pretty much in line. Just a few adjustments here and there. I right, said so right here, if I want to straighten my car out, I can press W and A like this, and then boom. 
and W again, and we made it. And it's just that simple. Um, try it again from this side. Oh, back flipped. To the right, Q and D. Alright, so now to the left, you can go press A and W right now and transit to S and W real quick. So now our car is gonna go point down if we don't do anything about it. Oh, I forgot to mention that your boost changes where you go. So you're only moving your car so that you can boost in the right direction. So here we go. Um, right now, we need to tilt our car upwards so we don't hit the ground. So that's Q and W, like that. And then probably some A action in there. All right, so now our car is kind of sideways. So what you want to do is tilt it up and to the right because right now we're left and down so that'll be Q into D boom and now we're in line with the goal so it's just that easy you just got to do that over and over again in slow motion and free play until it becomes muscle memory because now I don't think about it I just it, my hands just move oh yeah and I know it's a bit tricky to press the A button with Q at, at the same time, but it's essential that you can press all four buttons because on keyboard we're already limited with our range of motion, so if you can press all four buttons that would be great. And let me just attempt the same thing with Arrow Riot, so I can explain to the Arrow Riders how to do theirs. Now I'm not an Arrow Rider so I don't really know, but I know Arrow Riot, Tornado Spin to get up, pull back, forward, back, forward, oh, uh, yeah, that's the best I can do, the tornado spin to come to the air and then pull back now, and now I want to tilt forward and left, so that'll be W and A, and back, and then here, and then, uh, yeah, that's good enough, hopefully that's helpful, alright, now for those of you on console, um, I know you can't play workshop maps, so this is the next best thing. So you see these boost pads, I'm going to try weaving in and out of them while air rolling. Uh, when you do it, of course, you might want to do it in slow motion, but let me just attempt this here. Yeah, it is very difficult. So this is a great, oh, great practice for learning how to control your car in the air. It's very hard to talk while doing this. And yeah, doing this is pretty much the same as Rings map because you've got the, uh, you're aiming for a target and also you have to control your height. Like try not to pass over the goal level, like try to stay between the ground and the goal so you have to feather your boost. Yeah. Now I'm not going to go into a Rings map, I'm just going to... Go straight into hitting a moving ball. Alright, now how do we apply our newly learned air rolling? Well, first off, when you're first learning, you don't have to score every shot that you make. Just try and make solid contact. That means hitting the ball with the nose of your car. So let's try. So we see that the ball's going a little bit to the right. So, well, I can't, where is it? Oh, it's there. So, Right now, I'm pretty sure we're about to hit it, but if you want to hit it with our nose, we need to pull down, which is S and A, because A will make us go right and aim the ball at the goal. Boom. Alright, next shot. Um, Alright, so here it's going to go a little bit to the left, so... But we're also here, so we basically need to float in place and go forward, and yeah. Oh, so I saw just then that the ball was falling down, so I had to tilt my nose to it by... I think I pressed W and D. And now we need to make solid contact with the ball, so... Boom. Oh, the, right, that was not a good hit, but yeah. Alright, for this shot... Um, Oh, that's pretty close to the net. Aim it down. 
and I missed, but it's fine. And yeah, I think you guys probably are starting to get the hang of it now. This one, I'm misjudged. But you can see it's flying to the right, so if I want to go to the right right now, I need to pull back like that. Oh. And yeah. Missed again, but you know, you get the idea. Let's try it normal speed now. Alright, so that's pretty much it, I think. Alright, let me just add a final tip in here. Um, after you adjust, so let's say for a normal aerial, you go like here and you realize you're going too fast, so you pull back and then you go, go forward because uh, I'll just try like this. You see here, you go right, but we're too far to the right, so we go left, right? Well, what you want to do with aerial is let's say you want to go here and you want to adjust to the left but once you adjusted now you're going too far so you've got to adjust back to the right to like balance yourself out uh let me see if i can show you what i mean here so let's say adjust right here go this way but now we're gonna go to the left right so in order to balance ourselves out we did this q s and d so do the opposite pretty much. So, so Q A and D oh so Q S and D and then Q A and uh Q W and D sorry. And then so you go to this and Q S and D and now our car is back to upright. So yeah. Hopefully you understand what I mean, but you just gotta balance off your adjustments. So that's all for now. Hopefully if you've learned something. If you enjoyed the video make sure to like and sub because that's also crucial to learning aerial. And let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. Peace.